Do you have a business partner or a team member who you would like to have working with you on your YouTube channel and you're wondering how to grant access to that person without sharing your login details? Now in this video, I'll be sharing with you how to add a partner or team member as a manager or editor on your YouTube channel without giving out your login details. Let's go. Welcome, my name is Tokwe Aromache. If you're new here and you want to learn how to grow your YouTube channel, how to use YouTube to grow your personal brand or business, or generally learn stuff about YouTube, then start now by subscribing and clicking on that bell so you don't miss anything. Now let's go into YouTube and dive into today's topic, shall we? Okay, so this is the channel I want to work with and on this channel I'll be showing you step by step how to add a manager or editor to your YouTube channel. Now, the first thing you want to do is select your channel icon up here. On a normal day, you should have a picture here, right? So select this and on the drop down, click on YouTube Studio. At the bottom left, you want to go to Settings, then select the Permissions tab. Now, what you will see in this area might be different for your channel, depending on whether your channel is a personal channel or a brand channel. Now, this channel is a brand channel and that's why I can see two options here. The first one says, I should keep managing permissions in my brand account. The second says I should move permissions to the YouTube studio. Now, if you're not seeing these two options, that's because your channel is a personal channel and you can still continue this process. So quickly, I want to show you what it's gonna look like if your channel is a personal channel. I'm gonna click on move permissions to the YouTube studio. Now, if your channel is a personal channel, this is the view you're going to see straight away. And if you want to add a manager or editor to your account, what you do is come to the top right corner here, select invite, type in the email of the person you want to invite to manage your channel. And here, just select the kind of access you want to grant the person, okay? Now, I want to quickly show you what the view is going to look like if you're using your brand account to manage permissions. So I want to opt out of permissions in the YouTube studio, right? So that I can show you how to do this using your brand account. So I'm opting out of that option. And now I want to manage permissions in my brand account. So what you see here is this view, and then you click on manage permissions. This is going to ask you to log into your account to confirm it's you. So you want to do that quickly. So you're back here and you want to click again on manage permissions. And then on this pop-up, what you can see here is just the primary owner of the channel, which is you. Now, if you want to invite someone to manage your channel or be an editor on your channel, you come to this plus sign here and invite new users. Okay. Here you will type in the email address of the person and then choose the role you want the person to assume on your channel. So I'll just click on manager and then click on invite. Okay, so what happens after this is that this person gets an email from YouTube saying he or she has been added as a manager on your channel. And then in the email, the person is going to accept the invitation. So quickly, I will show you the email, but right here, let's just click on done. And then at this point, what you do as the owner of the channel is just wait for the person to accept. So quickly, I will show you the email. Now we are in the inbox of the invitee and then the email came from Google My Business. Now, if this was done through a personal channel, the email will be coming from YouTube, but either way, they are achieving the same thing. So I'll open the email. So you just click on accept invitation. Here, confirm again by accepting. Now click on manage permissions. You'll be asked to confirm that this is your account by logging in again. You'll get a verification code for this. So now we've switched to the side of the person that was added. And then the first thing you want to do when you get to YouTube is click on your channel icon. On the drop down, if you click on switch accounts, you will see all the channels that has been added to your Gmail account. Now this is the channel we moved to TGM test. Remember the manager now is TGM test and this channel was not here before now. So if I click on this channel now, everything I do on this channel, I'm doing it as a manager of the channel. Meanwhile, if what you're looking for is how to completely transfer your channel from one Gmail account to another Gmail account. Now you could be doing this for different reasons. It could be that you changed your company's Gmail address. It could be that you want to even sell the channel to a different owner entirely and you want to cut off from that channel. Whatever the reason, the process is the same. So you want to check the video up here to learn step by step how to move your channel from one Gmail account to another Gmail account. Now that's it right there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video. And until then, keep showing up and keep crushing it. Bye.